I'm going to show you how to play harmonized scales playing seventh chords and major six chords with root notes on the fourth string. And what I mean by that is that we're going to play major scales up and down the fourth string while we play major seventh chords and six chords on top. Let's talk really quickly about which chords you play with which notes of the major scale. Your one and your four chords can be played as major seven or major six chords. Your two, three, and six chords can be played as minor seven chords. Your five chord will be played as a dominant seven chord, also just known as a seventh chord. And your seven chord will be played as a minor seven flat five, also known as a half diminished chord. So for this exercise, you need to know how to play movable versions of major sevens, major six, dominant seven, minor seven, and minor seven flat five chords. And we're gonna be doing this in the key of E flat major, and we're gonna start off with this major seven shape. So this is finger one on the fourth string playing the root, and then finger three, three, and three. So finger three is barring strings one through three, and we are muting or just not playing strings five and six. From low to high, this chord has a root, a fifth, and a seventh, and a third. And since this is the one chord in E flat major, we can also play this major six shape. This is finger one, three, one, and four. So finger one is barring strings two through four. And like all these other shapes, we're muting or just not playing the fifth and sixth string. And from low to high, this has a root, a fifth, a sixth, and a third. And I want to keep that same order with all these other shapes, either root five, seven, three, or root five, six, three. So with that in mind, let's take a look at these other shapes. Here's the minor seven shape we're going to be playing with the root on the fourth string. Finger one, four, two, and three. And the seventh chord, or dominant seven, we're going to be playing. This is finger one, three, two, and four. And then your minor seven flat five, again known as half diminished as well. This is finger one, and then two, two, two. So finger two is barring strings one through three. The first thing you're going to do is play the scale up and down the fourth string so you know where your root notes are. And since we've chosen the key of E flat major, it's going to be E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat. And it helps to think of these notes by scale degree. So by scale degree, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one again. And then we add the chords and we're gonna play up and down the scale. So we start with our one chord, which can be major seven or major six, two chord, minor seven, three chord, minor seven, four chord, major seven, or major six, our five chord, dominant seven, also just known as a seventh chord, six chord, minor seven, seven chord, minor seven flat five, also known as half diminished, and then our one chord again, which will be major seven or major six. And then play back down to seven, to six, to five, to four, to three, two, and one. I chose the key of E flat because it starts us off at the end of the fretboard and we can play from our one chord to the next one chord all continuously. But you want to be able to play this starting in the middle of the fretboard as well. So this time, let's choose the key of G major. The starting note of our scale is going to be on string four, fret five, that G. And when you play the scale, start on the tonic or the one, in this case, that's going to be G. Play as high as you can comfortably play on your particular guitar and then play back down. So there's one, two, three, four, five. That's as high as I'm going to go, but on your guitar, you may be able to go higher. So back to four, 
three, two, one, and then play past your starting note to as low as you can play, seven, six, and then circle back to your one. So seven, and then one. So make sure you start and end on your one. And then do the same thing with the chords added. One, major seven or major six, two, minor seven, three, minor seven, four, major seven or major six. I'm just gonna use major sevens from this point. Five, dominant seven or seventh chord. Back to four, three, two, one, to your seven, which is gonna be minor seven flat five, to your six, which is minor seven, and then back to your seven, and then to your one. If you practice this exercise in two or three different keys every day, you're gonna to start to see the fretboard in an entirely new way, especially if you do this with different sets of chords. In this video, I showed you how to do it with root notes on the fourth string. In the previous two videos, I showed you how to do this with roots on the fifth string. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do this with roots on the sixth string. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. And if you wanna understand the theory behind all this, check out this playlist for guitar theory modules.